Hello everyone, I'm Brandon with Lenovo, and I'm here today with the ThinkCenter M93P Tower Desktop. Today we are going to be replacing the primary hard disk. This process will take about 10 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. There are no tools required to do this. Before we continue, we need to make sure that we're protected against electrostatic discharge or ESD. Make sure to shut down your computer and disconnect all cables and accessories from the system. For further information, watch our Understanding Electrostatic Discharge video by clicking the link in the description. And now that we're ready, let's get started. To remove the front cover, we must first remove two thumb screws. Then, we're going to press down on the release button, slide the cover towards the rear of the system, and remove it. Now we're going to remove the primary internal storage drive. First, we disconnect the power cable and the SATA cable. Then, lift straight up on the bracket and slide it out of the system. So now I'm going to remove the drive from the bracket, which is done just by pulling apart the bracket until the metal pins are out of the screw holes. Then I'm just going to repeat for the other side. And here we have our replacement storage drive. When placing a storage drive into the bracket, you want to assure that the connector end of the drive is aligned with the pull handle end of the bracket. And then you're going to insert the pins into the screw holes on the hard drive. and repeat for the other side. Now we just want to align the bracket with the bay and slide the drive in until it locks. Then we're going to replace the SATA and power cables. When replacing the front cover, we want to assure that the tabs on the cover align with the slots on the chassis. Then we're going to place the cover onto the chassis and slide it forward to the front of the system. Then we're going to replace two thumb screws. 